Once again, welcome back to my channel, Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh, and today we are going to see a very important thing, which is usually discussed during interview, like how to block root account. Root is a such a word which is very very popular within Linux. There are little confusion as well, so let me clear that first. So first of all, there is a particular user known as root. As you can see here, if we type in command W, so it will tell us that EC2 hyphen user is the user which actually logged into this operating system. But right now, if I type in here who, so even this is telling about that EC2 user is the actual user. The user logged in from here. If I type in here who am I, this is going to tell me root. So this is a user basically, and the another root here is slash root. So this is if I talk about this is the root slash root which is home directory of this root user third thing if i talk about so this is known as root so if i talk about this slash so this is also known as root so there are three root first of all a user second one users home directory and third one is the origin of linux which is known as like the basic or the particular default mount point for everything everything in linux begins with root now the question here is how to block root account because of compliance issue and because of other stuff so during interview someone may ask you that how to block root account so let us see how do we, how do we do that so right now if you see you root user is able to log into this operating system you root user can perform any any like mkdir test so if we see here so test directory is created here and the owner is root group is root so this kind of information is available by default for this particular which is known as test and owner is root now i want that using sudo su hyphen or maybe by doing let us say i'm trying to do ssh from here with ec2 dash user so this root user should not be allowed to do ssh so let us try to block it first from ssh so sudo su hyphen let me enable something here vi slash etc sshd underscore config this is a file now let us search here for word root so if you see here permit see if you see here it is written as permit root login prohibited password it means password if someone is trying to log in with password with root user then it is not permitted what i'm going to do here i'm going to remove it and how do we remove it guys let me get it back shift and c if i type in this particular shortcut then it is going to take you to insert mode and it is going to terminate it is going to delete everything after the, like from the cursor if i type in here yes and then i type in here system ctl restart sshd that is fine now let me set a password for user root password for user root i'm going to set the password which i'll not tell you guys now if i try to log in with root user what i need to do i need to go to my console i need to go to my ec2 machine and i'll pick here the public ip address of this machine what i'll do ssh root at the rate server ip why i am trying to log in with this root user because i just want you guys to know okay i need to remove this first vim tilde slash dot ssh non host i'll go to line number 155 i'll delete it that's it okay so once again i'll try to do it okay why this is denying public key let me see whether i have committed some other mistake here so not to worry i'll go here first of all let me run a command dnf install vim minus y this is the editor which i usually used in order to perform operations related to linux and especially editing files and others so i'm going to install this particular command first now what do i want here 
I'll run a particular command cat slash etc pass level d I'll hit here grab type in root so it is going to tell me that bin bash shell is allocated to this user so let me perform the first practical here like uh, user mode hyphen s less s bin and no login if I type in here for user root then you see this user will not be allowed if I type in the same command it is going to say this account is currently not available now if once again if I have to like take it back like user root should be able to log in I will run a command sudo user mode hyphen s less bin bash and then root if I run this command so guys what is happening with this command there are two shell s bin no login user will not be able to log into operating system will not be able to perform any operation second shell here is bin bash so this is default shell of Linux operating system if any user has this shell then user will be permitted to log in and to perform other operation here if I execute same command I am able to log in now etc once again like how to block a user let us say root from doing ssh etc ssh sshd underscore config file is there let me show you like if you need to change port number you can do it from here permit root login yes public authentication yes permit password yes now there should be a particular parameter like password authentication so that is by default disabled I'm looking for that particular parameter only where I can allow yeah this is the one password authentication yes system ctl restart SSH. then now if I try to log in once again with root user so I shall be allowed to log in fine now what do I want here is that a user root should not be allowed to log into the system over SSH once again what I'll do etc SSH SSH D underscore config I'll go to bottom of this file I type in, I'll type in here deny users type in here the name of user root and that is it we need to restart the service log out from here and now if we try to log in even after I type in here the right password it will not allow me to log in because user root is denied for doing SSH wherein if I try to log in with EC2 user then for sure I am allowed to perform the operation because only single user is there which is known as EC2 that is denied if I type in here once again etc SSS SHD underscore config go to bottom either comment or maybe remove this entry come out of it if you want to see that whether changes are saved or not yes we can check that once again we can verify that now run a command restart system ctl restart sshd that is it come out try to log in with s root user and we are allowed So yes guys this is how we can log into any operating system with root user which is by default not allowed in any organization because we need to secure our system. So guys this is how we can respond to this question like how to allow or deny a user which is known as root, how to lock root account user, how to disable root account user. So this is how uh, we need to work. So guys that is it for this video thank you so very much for watching have a good time and happy learning thank you.